Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. Our Bible reading this week is the entire book of 2 Thessalonians, chapters 1 through 3, the entire book of 1 Timothy, which is chapters 1 through 6, and 2 Timothy chapter 1. Our memory verse this week is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 13, which says, Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. We looked yesterday at the fact that Paul encouraged Timothy to remain true to this pattern of sound words in spite of the fact that he was suffering. He was in prison and many others had abandoned him and treated him badly for the fact that he was in fact standing for the truth. But in spite of Paul's sufferings, he didn't tell him to do something different. Why might that be? Let's look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 for some things that Paul had to say to those brethren who were also suffering persecution for their faith. He says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and beginning in verse 3, We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other, so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you also suffer. Since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you, and to give you who are troubled rest with us, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance on those who do not know God, and those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe, because our testimony among you was believed. You know, it's interesting. People are more than happy to talk about half of this passage. They're happy to talk about the fact that those who are faithful to God inherit the kingdom. They like to talk about the fact that there is a reward for the faithful, that they will be glorified in that day. But what is far less often discussed is that there is, in fact, a punishment for those who oppose and stand against the will of God. And God says he's going to hold them accountable. Look at the different things that he says here. He says he's going, in verse 6, to repay them with tribulation. He says he is going to uh, take vengeance on them, verse 8. He is, they are going to be, verse 9, punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. And these are strong words of judgment. And it is important for us to understand the significance of, of standing opposed to the will of God. There's only two sides in this battle. We're either on the Lord's side and we're fighting for the truth and we're standing for the truth and we are those who are willing to suffer for the truth or we are among those who are standing against the truth, among those who will suffer the consequences of those who failed to stand up and be counted for the truth. Now the question is, which are we? Are we those that, like the Thessalonians, that Paul was bragging about and raving about and using to encourage others, are we those who will remain true and stand true regardless of the persecutions? Or are we those who wilt and or actively stand against the will of God? We need to think about that. And it is in the midst of understanding that people suffered for standing for this truth. In spite of the fact that Paul knew that encouraging people to stand for this truth would result in persecution and tribulation on this earth, that he wrote to Timothy and said, Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you heard from me in faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. Let us do the same. Thank you for thinking on these things, and we hope that you will join us again tomorrow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.